Hey, it's Violet. Um, today I'm going to be showing you some of the paintings and drawings that I've done um, in my life. Um, these, I have um, a big stack of them here and some more over here. I paint with acrylic paint. Um, I've been painting it's more, it's much more of a hobby. I'm, I'm, I don't paint objects. I paint. I like colors. So I kind of just paint whatever strikes my fancy. So for example, this one. Um, it's not, I suppose, it's not coming up. There we go. That's, that's more true to life, what the color is like. It's meant to be viewed. I don't remember, I painted this a long time ago. Like this, I think. And, um, I was looking at a radish. It's a radish. And then over here is just a swirl of color. This one, it looks cooler in person. Here it... Well, that's disappointing, but it's, um... It's just sort of an abstract piece. I was fooling around with some colors that I have. And, um, I really like curves in all areas of life, ladies. But, um, yeah, so this was just sort of being inspired by a vegetable. I think the top part looks a bit like a leek. And then here, this is sort of, it started out as a sun. But, um, ended up not as a song. Um, let's see, this one is just a plain black and white stripe that I was going to apply a decal to. Um, I suppose it's gray, but I've got um, some lines here. People were on my case about the focus last time, so I am trying. Not very exciting, really. That's that's just for another project. Um, same with this one. This uh, pink gradient. Gradient. This is canvas. Um, I was I'm going to um, block it off with painters tape and then do something else on top. But again, kind of irrelevant. Same with that one. Uh, this one is inspired by Sweden. It's the uh, Swedish colors. Um, this one is, a uh, it's mixed media, so there's this sort of periwinkle blue color that I mixed that I was quite happy with, and then these are pieces of paper that I, um, that I cut into a flower shape, and then I had these Euro coins. These are some coins that um, I had lying around and I thought it'd be nice to um, use them but I'm an American so of course that was my friend texting me this one I don't like <laughs> it's um a glittery leaf so gosh I wish it would focus I really like the background of this one. It's um, I really like this sort of thing. These blocks of paint on the back that look really random but are actually quite calculated. And the glitter was just because I didn't like the way the leaf was turning out, so I just added some glitter onto it. I don't really like this. It's not very interesting. But um, we get kind of the edges of the leaf and this sort of purple and blue or excuse me, purple and red block thing in the background this one is one of my actual art pieces again the color is a little funny this is light blue, not white but um, you can see it's 
did a bit better like that. But so this is a um, like a red background with some green leaves and uh, yellow dots and a blue sun. So this piece I really like. Um, my big motifs are these sort of suns, these leaves and dots and, and bold colors with lots of contrast and strong lines. This, I, I tried to make this a couple times and I remade it more than once. There are a couple drafts of this one lying around. This one is another piece that I really like. Um, this one is inspired by the marshes of Minnesota at nighttime. Um, so we've got these bold, sort of strong vertical lines intersected by these. There's some two purple ones here, and then here's the moon. I opted for just plain white, but I think I would have liked to do a little design here. And then another one. These two um, mirror each other a little bit. They're kind of different. And these two white ones, which go straight down. I like it because the whole piece draws your eye like that, you know, sort of in the diagonal. Um, and then the background of the... So the idea is that the, the horizon is here, if there is such a thing in this piece. But the horizon is here, and then um, it's the water, and then the sky here with a purple cloud that's reflected down here, sort of parallel. Um, so for me, I, I really liked this piece. It turned out really well. Um, yeah, I was really happy with it. Um, here's one that is a leaf. This one I like a lot. Um, it's just a sort of... Oh, do you know The Very Hungry Caterpillar? I, I always liked that book, and I was really inspired by the way he, he, he would paint on pieces of paper and then cut the paper out. So I was sort of... In, I started out with a background like that, just mixed colors. And I opted for a two-tone green piece. Um, you can see there's some variation between the light green and the dark green, and it intensifies here along this corner. And I traced the shape of a leaf skeleton out. And so I have the spine going straight up here. Then the edges of the leaf coming around like that and then the I'm not sure what you'd call these arms the branches of the leaf going around the side like that and um, it sort of looks like the leaf is bending towards you so I really like this one I think I'd like to frame it I think it's really cute very simple um, didn't take too long so not that technically amazing but I was really pleased with the final product. Um, I thought it looked really nice. And that um, purple, the skeleton itself took three coats of paint to get the right intensity. Um, so that was a pain. I was messing around with some blues. Again, the lamp isn't doing it justice, but you can see the colors. It's a loose gradient, actually. It goes from green to blue. Um, standing at the top with this sort of aquamarine. And I was playing with um, lake colors because a lot of my um, color palettes are inspired by lake, lake life. Um, a particular lake in Minnesota, which is really dear to my heart. But um, it's just these sort of colors which remind me of the water and the sky and the plant life. Um, so... This is just a kind of another color sample, but I ended up thinking it looked kind of cool. Um, I paint these in this um, craft sketchbook that I have, which I will show you. Um, here's another one where this one I was playing with reds. Again, another color test sheet, but kind of cool. 
I ended up sort of going for like a fire motif with kind of silhouettes of people dancing. Not very well executed, I don't think, but I, I ended up liking it just because I think these colors are really beautiful. I don't typically deal in peaches, but um, I got a really beautiful kind of peachy orange color and I couldn't help it. I had to play with it. It was, it was too beautiful. So I did um, sort of a, just a mix of it and there's like several layers of paint on here because I wanted, I wanted a good effect in the end even though I was watching uh, Game of Thrones while I painted this. So I was sort of inspired by the energy of that show, which is slightly frantic. <laughs> um, this is an early incarnation of my um, the style that you saw before with the leaves and the dots. Um, and here I was playing with acrylic paint and water. So you can see you get almost a watercolor effect. Oh, sorry about the camera. Um, you get sort of a watercolor effect by adding water. It doesn't make it very easy to work with, but um, I thought the skeletons on this leaf look like blood vessels, which to me was pretty interesting. Here is a purple color sample. Don't like this one. I was going for a flower. Ended up with this. <laughs> I've never mastered the art of painting flowers. I'm, I'm not a naturalist because I lack actual talent, so I just paint my whims. But, um, let's see here. Just dark. I think this would look cool if I had painted it on black. Um, this one is inspired by mountains, so different ranges in the distance. Um, you can look at it upside down too. But it's meant to be viewed like this. Um, so this is sort of Smoky Mountains inspired, and I mixed different colors to try and get a gradient effect. I should have done it a bit thicker. You can see here that there is some, um, some, you know, it's not, it's not the right opacity, but whatever. I liked the shapes pretty much. I ended up being more or less satisfied. This one is something I haven't painted yet. This is the pencil sketch of, um, well this one is inspired by, um, tree bark and water, so like tree, tree bark floating in a river, so the part that's textured, like this section here, is going to be various shades of brown, and um, the white, the white space in here is going to be blue, so it's sort of going to look like water falling, flowing between fallen trees. Um, I fiddled with this design a lot, and um, I don't know, I ended up liking the finished product. It's, it's sort of a take on the paint by numbers <laughs> type thing, because each line is going to end up being a different color. And I think it's going to be a bit of an ambitious project, honestly, because um, that's a lot of shades of brown, and I've never mixed, mixed that color, that kind of color variety before. so. I'm really excited, um, I really like the rounded shapes, and it took me a long time to get them the shape I like, so that was, you know, tricky, but, um, I, it was just sort of inspired by fish and water and birch bark, kind of artistic themes in my life. Um, this is my one of my favorite pieces. This is my latest one. Um, this one is sort of sunset moon type deal. Um, got sort of Pocahontas-esque leaves flowing between the two green dots and um, the twin suns with a little mini one. And to me this was sort of inspired by like harvests. So the red background and the red suns are it's a, sort of a fall motif, and the leaves flowing from the two green dots sort of symbolize the transition from um, summer to fall, and sort of like the movement between us all. It's 
very hippy dippy, but I was really, really, really pleased with the finished product. And it's one of my favorite things that I've ever painted. So I was really happy with the leaves. And um, let's see yeah, if you can see the color gradation between the green and the blue there. Oh, whatever. But I think it turned out really well. So here is another piece I haven't colored yet. And this there's some paint here, but it is an insane cat. <laughs> it's I'm in pencil, so it's kind of hard to see. But here is the cat's mouth and the nose and the crazy eyes, and then lightly penciled in is the color background, so it's going to be something like that type deal. But um, I was thinking I'd make the cat green and the background orange, maybe with a pink nose. haven't decided on my palette yet. Um, I was playing with grays and whites right there, but that doesn't matter since I'm going to be painting over it. But um, those are some of my paintings. Um, I think for my painting video coming up, I'm going to be painting maybe my birch bark one, maybe a bigger one. I have a huge canvas that I've been meaning to paint, so I might get around to that. But I don't have any place to put that one when I'm done, which is a bad thing. But that's sort of a smattering of my um, art pieces, which I do in my free time. And um, I really enjoy it. And um, that's, yeah, so labor of love. I hope you enjoyed them, and um, I'll talk to you later. Bye.